If you've tried the weed killers at the big box stores without much success and are looking to take things to the next level, this video is for you. Coming up, I share what I consider to be the ultimate herbicide combination for warm season grass. It targets most grassy and broadleaf weeds while minimizing damage to your grass. Let's get started. It's probably safe to say that we all hate having weeds in our lawn. They stick out like a sore thumb compared to our grass, minimizing all the hard work that we put in. Now there's a couple different approaches when it comes to handling weeds. For most people, they head down to the big box stores and try a selection of herbicides, hoping that it's gonna take care of the problem. Some issues with this approach is that depending on the weeds you're targeting, you may end up needing multiple products that may or may not be safe for your particular grass type. Another consideration is that even though these types of products tend to be cheap to buy initially, the actual cost for application is quite a bit higher when compared to professional level herbicides. Today, you'll learn about a two herbicide combination that's safe for all warm season grass types other than Bahia. It's easy to mix, simple to apply, and as you'll see later in this video, produces great results without damaging your grass. The first herbicide in this combination is called Celsius. This is a professional level herbicide that targets most grassy and broadleaf weeds. Unlike many of the big box store offerings, Celsius can be applied when temperatures are much higher with less chances of damaging your grass. It kills common weeds like crabgrass, spurge, and far too many more to mention here. Now, while Celsius is an amazing herbicide, it's not perfect. Its ability to target certain weeds like green and yellow nutsedge, as well as cool season weeds like poa, can be a bit meh. Enter the second herbicide in our combination, Certainty. Certainty is a selective herbicide for warm season lawns that's very effective against all sedges, as well as certain cool season weeds like poanua. It mixes really well with Celsius, forming a great combination to target weeds in warm season turf. Now, before we get to mixing up this concoction, let's take a few seconds to talk about the right gear you should be wearing whenever you're applying herbicides. The product label specifies that you wear shoes with socks, long pants, a long sleeve shirt, and gloves. Out of an abundance of caution, I also like to wear protective eyewear whenever handling herbicides. Let's get to mixing. The nice thing about Celsius and Certainty is that they come with their own measuring tools. Celsius provides a measuring cup, while Certainty provides a measuring spoon with a small scoop and a large scoop. For the purposes of everything we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna to be using the small scoop. In addition to the herbicides themselves, you'll also need a non-ionic surfactant like the high yield spreader sticker. This surfactant will help our Celsius and Certainty combination stick to the weeds leaves better. This maximizes uptake, which allows us to get more out of our herbicide application. You'll also need either a pump or backpack sprayer with a tip that's optimized for foliar applications. Finally, you'll need some blue marker dye since it makes it much easier for us to see where we've applied the herbicide. I'll have links in the description for everything you'll need. Now, when it comes to application rates, it's super important that you read the label. This is especially true when working with professional grade herbicides like Celsius and Certainty. Now, depending on the weeds you're targeting, each of these product labels is gonna have different application rates to ensure that you get the best possible result. For today, we're gonna to be mixing up two gallons of our Celsius Certainty combination. That two gallons is gonna cover up to 2,000 square feet, which is plenty for spot spraying most average size lawns. Let's start by adding two gallons of water to our sprayer's tank. Next, using the Celsius measuring cup, will pour up to the second line from the bottom, which is labeled 0.226 ounces. This is a high rate for Celsius when mixed with two gallons of water. For certainty, we'll add three of the small scoops to the sprayer tank. You'll notice I'm using the small end of the spoon, not the large end. Now, three of these small scoops is the low rate for certainty, but when combined with Celsius, it's still plenty to pack a solid punch. Next, we'll add four teaspoons of our surfactant, and then finally finish out with one ounce of blue marker dye. Close off the tank and give it a good shake to get all the ingredients blended well. Now, when it comes to spraying herbicides, you only wanna make one pass over the target area. Now, as tempting as it might be, do not go back and forth multiple times over the same target area. You can see here how we're spraying a bit of spurge as well as some crabgrass. Just a single pass at a medium speed to ensure the weed is wet, but not to the point of runoff. When spraying a larger area, like this patch of yellow nuts edge, you may need to make two side-by-side -side passes. One thing you'll notice is that I'm keeping the wand about 12 to 14 inches above the weeds. This helps keep the herbicide in the target area while also minimizing drifts. For best results, you'll want to apply the blend when there's no rain in the immediate forecast, and you're also gonna to wanna to wait two days after application before you resume your mowing. Once you're done, be sure to clean your sprayer thoroughly. I recommend rinsing out the tank two to three times. Within 24 hours, the weeds are gonna stop growing and within seven to 10 days, you should start to see yellowing as they begin to die off. 
For stubborn weeds like crabgrass, you may have to do a follow-up application two to four weeks later. For additional weed control options, I've got a video right here for you to watch next. For those of you with cool season lawns, Princess Cut Lawn Care has put together a great video that also talks about using two different herbicides to take care of cool season weeds. I have a card here for you to go watch that video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next videos.